with the brutal deconfirming of characters through me costumes. I, for one, am really happy we can get some characters added into Smash this way. So how about this? Let's take a look at my top 10 characters I want to be represented as me costumes in Smash. Coming in at number one is Cooking Mama. No, this cannot be a playable character. There's just no way. But the franchise of Cooking Mama has such a long history on the DS line of systems. And Nintendo know what they've created. He's too dangerous to be left alive. She definitely deserves some representation in Smash, and this is a great way to do it. I think she'd be a really good candidate for a me brawler costume. Taking a look at number two, we've got Maxwell from Scribblenauts. Maxwell's a character I see a lot of people wanting as an actual DLC, but I don't think that's going to happen. But there's a reason I think he'd be a really good me costume. A lot of these characters on the list are going to fall under a brawler, sword fighter, or gunner. Maxwell can fall under anything. He is super fun, and obviously it's scribble notch. You can draw anything, create anything, and that's the catch. He can draw a sword, and that would be a sword for his costume. He can draw a gun, and that would be the gunner costume. And the brawler, he could just get a few boxing gloves, and that would be his brawler costume. It's a really unique character, and can be done in so many different ways. Coming in at number three, we're going to have Hollow Knight. This is going to be the first indie character on this list from a lot of them. As we've seen, indie games have a really hard time getting into Smash as their own playable character, but me costumes is where they kind of live now. Everybody loves this game. It's super cool, super unique, and would be a perfect sword fighter costume. And number four on this list is literally the reason I made this video. An indie character who's beloved by all on so many different consoles on the Switch now on a remastered edition. There are so many different unique possibilities for this single character. Who could it be? I'll give you a hint. A sword fighter. Yes, this is the Castle Crash. I have been wanting them in Smash for so long. As much as I want to see them as a standalone fighter, it would really make zero sense. A Sans or Cuphead treatment for this indie fighter would be incredible. Be the me costume full indie game sword fighter representative, if that's a mouthful of words, but I think that works. Oh, it's number five, the one nobody wants to hear about. This is one of those Dante Shante type things. Sora. <laughs> yeah, Sora's gonna be a me costume if I have my gut feeling. The question you have to ask is, is Sora getting in as a playable character? I don't think so. And we've seen it with Dante and other characters now that if they don't get into Smash, they're represented through a Mii costume. Anything is better than nothing. If they can get Sora in as a Mii costume, it makes it easier for Sora to get into Smash next time around. For number six steps away, again from the indie characters, and this is going to be Tom Nook. This is actually the first first party rep I have on this list. If you look at my channel right now, Tom Nook is like the top banner, so obviously I want to see him in Smash. The issue with this is we already have Villager, we already have Isabel. That's a lot of Animal Crossing representation. But I think it makes a lot of sense to include him as a me brawler. Going on me brawlers and shifting back to indie games for number seven, we have Ori. This is one of the standout games of 2020 and one that I really do have to play on my free time. And I think this would be a great addition for indie characters. And if you want some marketing, some representation, some notoriety in the gaming world, you gotta be in Smash. No indie developer is saying no to their game in Smash. So let's see this happen, Ori as a brawler. Continuing the list for number eight, another indie character, another brawler is going to be Isaac from Binding of Isaac. This one is something I want to talk about. The developers are super cool. I love keeping track on what they do. And of course, Binding of Isaac is just kind of a cult classic at this point. You see physical editions of this game literally in GameStop, which is so rare to find for an indie game. But we got to bring him in as a brawler. And for nine and 10, we've got big characters that aren't really being discussed for DLC, but I'd love to have them in the game. Coming in at number nine is going to be Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. This is one of those underdogs for DLC. He's in like the bottom tier of like, oh, we kind of want him, but I don't think he's getting in. Even if he made in, I don't think many people would appreciate this, but the people who really want him would love him in the game in any way possible it would be a huge surprise to all of us. For him being a sword fighter, it would make a ton of sense. And franchises like Ninja Gaiden, who really haven't been prominent on Nintendo systems, but have been on others, have actually gotten me fighter costumes. Ryu Hayabusa would have been great for maybe earlier in the Challenger Passes, even for Challengers Pass 1, but I think he's going to be relegated to a me fighter costume. So number 10. This is probably going to be my most wanted pick for a Mii Fighter costume just for the jokes. Mii Fighter costumes aren't really all that serious most of the time. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes like a character that's on the fringe like a lot of these, and most of the time the big ones are going to be indie characters. But there's some characters when we talk about DLC that everyone's like, I really want that character for no reason except for the absolute memes and absolute jokes. A perfect example of this has got to be Sans. Who would think a Mii Fighter costume would break the internet more than the actual character from the fighter's pass. <laughs> 
but when he came out, more people played him than the actual fighter. What is a character that could do that, that everybody wants in Smash? <laughs> but let's go with Goku for a Mii Fighter costume and put his franchise in as Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Why do I want this? The jokes, the memes, I think it'd be really funny. It would break the internet. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and I get an email anytime someone subscribes. And also I have two videos right here that I think you would really like. More videos coming really soon as I move out of this place to a new one and I'll see you guys very soon.